A car's transmission allows you to shift gears, multiplying the engine's power and speed output. It's an extremely complex system of gears and clutches. If it ever stopped working, you can bet you'd be dead in the water. Because this crucial component is tucked away tightly, it is seldomly seen, unless it needs to be replaced, like in this customer's car. Note the gear symbol indicating a fault. In this episode, I will show you a rare glimpse of what it takes to replace a BMW transmission. Let's jump right in. After the exhaust system and heat shields are removed, the drive shaft is disconnected and secured out of the way. The drive shaft transmits the power from the transmission to the rear wheels on this car. With the old fluid drained and the transmission housing bolts removed, the technician prepares the transmission jack, adjusting for the proper height and fitment to ensure a safe removal. This thing weighs around 200 pounds. We wouldn't want to slip off, yikes. Last minute attachments such as wiring and linkages are removed. It's time to lower the unit. With the transmission removed, it is a good time to inspect for any unexpected damage, such as wear or leaks. Now would be the time to address those issues. A special machine is connected to the transmission's oil cooler circuit to flush out any leftover oil contaminants that may compromise the new unit. The new transmission is strapped in place and the technician makes sure the torque converter is seated in. A torque converter is a type of hydraulic clutch only found in automatic transmission applications and allows the engine to continue running without stalling when the vehicle comes to a stop, kind of like in traffic. Enough tech talk for the moment. Let's just enjoy this satisfying footage. The fastening bolts are installed and the shifting linkage connected and adjusted. Now it's time to adjust the fluid level. This requires the help of another person, which will start the car and run it through the gears. This allows the technician to set the level to specifications before the fluid gets too warm and starts to expand. A good cleaning of any leftover residues and a quick mop and it's time for a test drive. Putting the car through its paces, the shifting couldn't be any smoother. Now this car is ready to hand over to the customer. If you've enjoyed this episode and would like to see more, subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'll see you next time.